James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? The heck? There's two? Wait. What the hell is this? No, that's probably like some weird DLC. Because I, I think um, when I looked it up, this game apparently had like two versions. Like one was on Xbox, and then it got re-released on PS2 for the greatest his version. And it has like this concept from the Xbox. So my guess is that this is probably like the, the quote-unquote DLC of the game. So um, let's just stick with the main scenario. The fuck's ri- what, what the hell's riddle level? I don't want. I am gonna not gonna touch that. I'm gonna keep it on normal because um, I suck with puzzles. So yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Let's see back that. Ah, that's loud. Hello, Jamesy boy.
Mary, could you really be in this town? Okay, we're gaming. Whoa, this is weird. Oh, these, oh God, hold on. I am not used to tank controls, so give me a second. Because I look, I was looking at the control type and it said like 2D or some shit. So let's check that out real quick. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, this is... Okay, now this feels modern. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yep, this feels much better. Now, where the hell are we? Oh god, the fog. It's messing with the trees. Um, In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. She said the thing, boys. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. Special place. Yep, Wait. this is gonna be in the movie. I remember watching the 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 transmission, and apparently this scene was like taken shot for shot from the movie, or for the movie. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. How do you know that, though? The dead person can't write a letter. Oh, okay. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Ah. Huh. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? going on with us not gonna lie 2d controls on this feels kind of good and uh, to be honest I wasn't just playing this because the remake is coming out like in October and um, since I and I want to do what I did with the MGS series which was like literally play the game before it gets remade I would have played Silent Hill 1, but I tried that with a friend and it kind of was a bit iffy. Can't go any further by car. <sighs> Guess I'll have to walk. Uh, yeah, sure, James. Uh, is there anything in the van? Nope, doesn't seem like it. There's a map in the car. Might be a good idea to take it. Let's see. God damn, James, you look crisp, my guy. Alright, here's the map. I got a map of Silent Hill. Cool. Now, how do I access the map? Ah, uh, okay. So the map is... Whoa. 
Wait a minute. So you're telling me Silent Hill's like a pseudo open world game? Because that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Because it's like, I, I played a bit of Silent Hill 1, and the game was very open ended. So, in, I have a question, comment section. Like, is Silent Hill technically an open world game? If you think about it. And if so. Oh god. Oh, there you are, James. God damn, the fog is thick. Oh, you can run low on stamina. That's good to know. You know what? I think I'm just going to put this with tank controls on because this feels like the camera is messing with me. So... Yep, tank controls on. What are what is in the well? And what are you, my friend? There's something in the well. What's that? Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. Gives me a weird feeling. Oh, that's how you save. Oh, neat. Loving the atmosphere already. It's pretty good. Pretty good so far. Also, sorry if my if you hear a loud noise cuz my AC is on and it has been really hot, so oh, I can't see shit. Cutscene. Excuse me, I... Oh, oh, I... I'm sorry. I... I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Who... who, who is it? Someone... very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I... I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Um... You anything else to say, lady? Aren't you looking for someone? Oh, That's right. <laughs> it's like, hey, I want to talk to you. Aren't you looking for someone? Oh yeah, I forgot I was doing that. <laughs> Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. 
<laughs> well, ain't that something? God damn, this fog is thick. God damn, this dynamic camera is kicking my ass. Okay, um... Ah, here it is. God, this game's atmosphere is so good. I was born in the wrong era. Because, um... I don't know if it's just me or not. But, I don't know why, but most horror games... Even from back then, I don't know why. Like, I think I may have been desensitized to them. And I'm hoping Silent Hill managed to get the creep factor in there back in me. You know, to prepare for the remake. Because, you know, I'm like, Rizzy Evil 4 obviously didn't really do much for me in terms of scares. Even RE7 didn't scare me as much. Revelations, well, that freaked me out, but it wasn't scary. Oh, I remember this. I remember the controversy involving with this. Didn't they, like, replace it with Comic Sans in the original? Or at least in the... No, not the original, the remaster. Because of the fact they lost the code to the original. And they essentially fucked everyone over. And they didn't know how to reverse engineer the reverse engineer a copy. So they just tried their best. And they failed miserably with the remaster. <laughs> oh, my God. And I remember they, they couldn't... I remember they got Troy Baker to be James, which... Great voice actor. Doesn't... And from what I saw with clips, he doesn't... <laughs> yeah, he does not fit James at all. When you hear Troy Baker's voice, you expect him to be, like, the super main character and, like, you know he's important. But then it's, like, the original voice actor was, like... He gave James that I'm just a nobody feel, where it's, like, he was just a regular guy. Whereas if I hear Troy Baker's voice, I think of many roles and, yeah. I don't know. I think it's... Because I remember watching clips um, of a playthrough for this. Yeah, yeah. His new... V Troy Baker. Great voice actor. Doesn't fit James. Yeah, I think... I'm going to go with the OGs on this and say the original voice fits. Ah. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's like RE4. The camera turns with you. It's just so disorientating. <laughs> uh, no wonder it's got scary with disorientating. And yeah, I remember one of my old my Resident Evil videos. Um, I think it was my Resident Evil One video. I talked about like tank controls, where it's like I don't hate it. It like or where the tank controls I prefer modern, like for example with 2D, for example when I was playing this. But like um, I remember commenting on someone that was like talking about it, and I'm like, it's not that I hate tank controls. It's just the fact that most of the time when I did try to use it. You know, because every time I don't experiment with, like, controls when I'm playing an old-school horror game. It's that, um, sometimes the controls are just iffy with me. Like, it feels too jank. And I tried Silent Hill, and I'm like, oh my god, these are way better tank controls. I love these. And they actually felt, like, responsive. Like, because en I enjoy tank controls in, like, games like RE4, which is are great tank controls. But it's like, if it's, like, an old horror game, that's when I get iffy about it. Luckily, this game has great tank controls. Thank God. And Yuri saw, if I chose 2D, it's borderline impossible to play that shit. Oh, man, this camera is going to whoop my ass. I can't... Huh. What's in here? Flowers celebrating 70 years. Okay, cool. And my restless dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. God, that letter is so ominous, bro. <laughs> Examine this photo of Mary. Yeah, cool. Hmm. Let me check the map again. See where I'm at. Oh! Oh! I used it! Fuck! God, this camera fucking sucks. Oh, God. 
Like, I get it. It's meant to be disorientating, but at the same time, Jesus Christ. I'm not like the- I'm not a pro at this game. I'm not like the guy- the hardcore fans that play through this front- front to back. I'm not used to this, with the camera being so weird. I'm used to RE1 style fixed camera, not this. Let's see, is there a way in here? Nope, there's not. Yeah, the dynamic camera is good. It's just I need to learn to use it. Nope, can't get in through here. Well, ain't that, well, ain't that noise sketchy? Oh! Um... Whoo boy! Whoo, whoo boy! Ain't that gon' be a good old pain in the dick? Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna investigate that, aren't I? Great. That's gonna be fun. Time to follow the blood. Alright. Let's see. Where did you go? There you are! Okay, keep going. Thanks for that, whatever the hell you are. So, you're over here, I'm guessing. I'll drink. How do I get to you? Over here? There we go. Got a health drink. Let's go. And what the heck are you? Okay, I think I... Okay, I think I understand this now. I think I get this now. So, the red papers are the save things. That's how you save. That's how you, that's how you save your game. So, I gotta keep an eye out for these papers then. Got a health drink. Okay, cool. Is there something here? Doesn't seem like it, so no. Considering the PS5's, you know, re thing with, like, graphics, I'm guessing that the loading times for the gates are gonna be taken away, you know, in exchange for... Where the heck am I? The radio is acting up, I don't like that. I don't like that the radio is acting up. No. No, no, no. Oh. James. 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 Look to your left. You just walked in. You should be able to see it. There it is. There you go. Now you see it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah! Damn! <laughs> Woo! Oh, Ito, you are a hell of a character designer, my guy. <laughs> this is his is dead? What the hell is it? Um. It's not human. Yeah, you know what to do, man. It has cheeks. You know what to do. You know what to do. Yeah, it has cheeks. And people say that there was limited movement in Silent Hill 2. You can run in melee. That's gonna help greatly. 
I remember Silent Hill 2, all, Silent Hill 1 also did that, because I played a bit of that. And yeah, there was also a way to move and shoot. So it is... Hello! Ow! Okay, get over here, buddy. Get over here. No. Something's coming. Well, I don't want to know. Okay, time to go. Let's see. Where do I go next? Well, I'm coming back from there. Guess I'll head deeper into the town, I guess. Uh... St. Stella Church, Big J's. Hmm. I went in through here, came up over here. Maybe the... Maybe I missed the red dot or something. Another one? Okay. Okay, this is going to get annoying. Just like, ignore you. Because you're just going to be annoying. And a pain. So, yeah. I'm just gonna ignore you because you're starting to be annoying now. Oh. I'm um, just recording Silent Hill. Be that done. Oh no, you can stay if you want. Alright. I'm here now. Yes, and I'm playing through Silent Hill 2. Now with a friend. I had no idea it was recording, so uh, you get me for the rest of the video. Yeah, and you're 30 minutes in. You're welcome. It's, I love when technical limitations, like, cause things to just be better. Yeah, nowadays we have the power to get without those limitations now, and I'm just sort of lost. I have no idea where to go. Ah, that's loud. Ah, that scared me a bit. Dude, I had a freaking nightmare last night about, uh... Oh, uh, what are you? Started falling apart. What are you? Jesus. What the heck are you? See, this is what I told you not to piss up. Oh, it actually says PXX. It actually says you're playing on an emulator when you're in Discord. That's a little annoying. I'm going to write everything I've learned so far. Maybe that'll help you out somehow. If you're reading this, it probably means I'm already dead. They also bled pink blood. That's not good for your bones. A torn memo page is on the ground. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain, but... My friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, does that mean that what I saw was an illusion? No, that's just Silent Hill fucking with you. But whether that demon that I ate... Did they not make a modern port of this? They did, but it sucks. Uh, you would think they'd have a PSP port. No, it was on Thank PS... It was, on, it was a PS3 Master, but that thing sucks. Oh, uh, were... wait. Was that the one that Konami, like, low-budgeted? The remaster? Yeah. Yeah, I heard, like... Is there a way to turn the game down a little bit? Mm, you have to lower, lower the stream down. Oh, hello. Hello, you. <laughs> You're good. I just turned my volume down. Oh, shit! Mm. That, actually, that enemy design actually still holds up. It still does. It's probably why they're going to keep it in the remake. Because um, I remember, remember watching the... Remember how we watched the gameplay footage together? Yeah. They have the same um, attack patterns and everything. Like, they crawl on the ground. Here's the thing. I'm not gonna Since... lie, I'm kind of excited for it. I've never played Silent Hill. I'll go ahead and pay seven dollars for it. Yeah, and here's the thing, though. I think I know why they wanted to remake two. Because here's the thing, two is its own thing. It's separated from the rest of the games. One and three have their own storyline. So they have a storyline with with each other. So. The... I want to find something that'll scare both of us on Halloween. But I, I usually don't get scared from horror stuff. Unless it's like really gross, disgusting body horror. Silent Hill. Yeah, but... I don't know. Yeah, I like, mean, Human Centipede makes you want to fucking vomit. What isn't, wasn't Silent Hill also inspired by Jacob's Ladder? Which is one of the scariest horror films say, of all time. I was gonna say Human Centipede, that came out years later. Oh, uh, there you are. 
It's a really old horror movie, and it's considered one of the greatest of all time. Look that up real quick. Got the apartment gate key. Yeah. What's what Dude, sucks? Some of the old movies look amazing on VHS. Still, should have that like grainy image. Yeah. What I don't like is that the actor for the Silent Hill 2 movie um, does not look like James at all. He does not look like James. <laughs> There's this one fucked up horror movie that's Australian that I refuse to watch because apparently it's really fucking trippy. People just like watch horror. I'm like, yeah. nope, nope. You know what actually makes me feel uncomfortable now? Like. People suck in locations, and it makes me feel claustrophobic when it's like in a book. You're like, you want them to get out so bad. Also, you know what I find hilarious? Is that people oh, say, like, James is not a fighter. But the thing is, compared to the old games, control scheme-wise, you had much more movement options in Silent Hill than in Resident Evil. Resident Evil, you were stuck with tank controls for a large period of time. Here, it's like you get, like, multiple options. You could sidestep. You can, like, run. It's like you can easily run on a PS2 and PS2. And, like, you can easily, like, move around much easier. So I don't know what they're I talking about. I forget just how old the PS2 and game you are. Yeah, they're from, they're from 2000. You know what it is? The 360 PS3 went on so long that I'm, like, not thinking that these things are 20 years old. That blood effect. You don't have any mods, right? Because that blood effect looks really good. Yeah, it's, it, there's no mods installed. Are you uprising them? Yeah, and here's the thing though, This the version I got is the Greatest Hits Edition, which has all the content from the Xbox port. I forgot they made an Xbox port. Fun fact with the Xbox, it was supposed, the reason it's called Xbox is because the code name was Direct Xbox. A direct reference to uh, a Microsoft's DirectX program that's been powering 3D graphics cards for years. And still does. Kinda. Microsoft invented the first 3D graphics software. Also, this game does have a modern control scheme. I just don't use it because it kind of sucks. Because I could um, be wrong though, because OpenGL might be older. Because um, like, because the reason like it, I say the free movement sucks is because they tied camera movement to the left stick, which is also your, which is also how you move, and it gets very disorientating. I was feeling sick, like. This oh, is what, so this is a 2D and 3D analog mode? Yeah, 3D. So this is an early PS2 game, I assume. Yeah, 3D is like regular tank controls. 2D is like um, free movement. Thing is, I wouldn't recommend it because it feels so weird. I feel like we didn't nail like 3D movement until the mid PS2 era. Yeah, because um, this is free movement. And luckily you can switch on the fly. But if, your ca if the camera is constantly moving, it's going to suck because it, it made me want to throw up. I know the games we have to thank for that are Halo 1 and, uh, to some respect, Alien Resurrection. Garbage. No use for that. Garbage. I should throw myself in. But, yeah, it's like... I Yeah, it's highly recommended you play this game with tank controls. Luckily, it has good tank controls. Because usually tank controls suck most of the time. Well, the PS2, we kind of figured that shit out. Yeah, like, Silent Hill figured out tank controls perfectly fine, where it's like, you have strafing tied to the shoulder buttons, and then you have your regular tank controls on the D-pad and thumbstick, which is... Modern... I will I will give Modern Hitman credit for doing modern tank controls good as well. Even though sometimes when I kill the wrong target or something, I want to stab those tank controls. Yeah, that'll do it. There hasn't been any good ones since, like, 2016, or at least Black Flag. You mean the modern AC formula? No, I, I, no, I prefer not that. You didn't like Black Flag? Oh, I like Black Flag. It's just I don't want all stealth systems to be. I'm not like talking about Origins. I'm talking about the best Assassin's Creed ever made, which is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I will not be taking arguments in the comments. Oh, I think most of them agree with you, but then there's the AC2 fans. Oh boy. Listen, AC2 modernized the formula, and I'll give it that. But AC4 is the best pirate game ever made, and so many Assassin's Creed fans are getting mad at me for that comment. Yep. Yeah, let's see. It's too dark to read the map. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, that is such bullshit. So if the area is too dark, you can't read the map. That is so dickish. <laughs> yeah, but that's interesting. That's that's actually I've never seen a game do that. That's Ima interesting. Imagine in so the does remake. It want you to get like a light source. Or yeah, something? you need a light source to read the map, which is oh my god, that is so gonna be played, dickish. When I played through Saw, 
uh, the Saw Horror games. I should get them running on a 360 emulator, so I'm not buying those again. But uh, anyway, when I uh, was running through, when I was playing through that, you need your lighter on constantly for shit, because there's just rooms that are completely pitch black. And it is so annoying to get lighter fuel in that game. Let's see, what's in here? Even though it had one of the most evil mechanics in any horror game. Basically, your character's barefoot and there's glass all over the place, and if you step on glass too much, you just die. Like, how evil is that? Very evil. Oh, hello. Oh, it's still pretty decent. Like, people like to make fun of it, but I still enjoyed that game. It was my first, like, foray in this, like, of playing a full survival horror game, so I wasn't really that interested. I'm trying I to bait it. I did, like, sauce, so I puffed it out. I'm trying to bait it. Why? Is it, like, trying to kill you? No, it's, uh, because it, it can vomit, and it spews out vomit to attack. I can't wait to read your comments for this one. They're probably going to be like, who's this guy that jumped in halfway through? No, they're going to be like, aren't you scared? <laughs> Because uh, I wasn't, technically I'm not freaked out, but at the same time I've just probably got to wait it out. Yeah, comments, I love horror stuff. I think we have Final Destination and Saw on Blu-ray collection. I know you cannot have them, they are mine. That thing's dead. Speaking of, Walmart, can you package your DVDs better? Like, I have your Final Destination DVD collection, it is packaged terribly. I say it as if they're going to see this. It's like a random Walmart employee watches this. Yeah. Oh boy, this looks suspicious. Yeah, it looks like something's gonna jump you from there. Nah, Silent Hill doesn't really do jump scares. They do loud noises, but not really jump scares. But considering they have enemies that fuck other- that literally fuck other enemies, that's pretty weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Didn't Pyramid Turtle literally uh, assault another another enemy or something? No, it was trying to put it in the. You know how sinks have those grinders, right? In the thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was stuffing them in the grinder. Oh, I'm assuming that's supposed to be a hint on the side of the clock that you can't read properly. It's a large clock. It's too dark to see it well. I think I need a lighter. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. They tied, um, when you move the camera, my, uh, James's head moves, too. That's a cute little effect. The scars, oh, from, the scars the past from the past should remove the nail that stops. Do I need to smack it? Unless it's doing that thing where you need to find a light first, even though you can read it, because I think, because the game's up res, we're not supposed to be able to read it, maybe. Yeah, the game was way too dark, even on menus, so it's like, yeah, I needed to increase the brightness. Yeah, it... so we're playing with effects we shouldn't be playing with, then. Yeah, like, because look, I, uh, this is the brightness when on, the, on, de on default. Hold on. This is the brightness on default. Oh, this had the line things back then. Interesting. Yeah, I'll probably keep. But look, this it, the menus are dark, like really dark. Okay, yep. This is yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm just dumb. But yeah, like the font itself is dark along with the game. I don't like it when it when games do that, where they darken the font or the menus, because it gets annoying. A lot of games don't do that nowadays because of accessibility and color blindness and the like. Ladder for Mary. Which really cool games just have straight up colorblind filters now. Yeah. What what I'm guessing they'll do is that they'll have the memory well, they'll have the UI be bright, but the game itself be dark because I don't not like the game look the game's UI being dark. And I don't mean like oh, like the world itself. I mean just like the menus, because the menus look super dark. And I can't read shit. And yeah, it gets annoying. Imagine this game with HDR, where dark uh, dark objects are actually dark. Also, apparently the That's re right, comments. I'm so fucking old, my first TV was a CRT. Also, this film grain TV is kicking my ass, but a lot of fans recommend to have the film grain on. Oh, that- oh, 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 I found an issue. What? This- you know how most old games are not meant to be played widescreen? Yeah. Look at the end of the hall. Dark? Not dark. Dark. Not dark. I see. 
Come here. I'm gonna kill it. You're probably gonna kill it. I am. This is gonna carry me to the rest of the game, by the way. I feel like it takes more hits to kill an enemy than like a remake. Oh yeah, no, it did take more, remember? He was using a gun. This is just melee hits. And not only that, enemies AI are much are much smarter. They I'm not joking. They will grab your weapon if you keep smacking them. So it's made to keep from weapon spamming. For balance. this one or the new one? The new one. Because the new one apparently the AI can now counter you by grabbing on your weapon. Oh, yeah, like, switch up weapon. And they say James is not a fighter. I don't know why they're not just remaking the first. They don't just like combine the first and third games and they just remake it like that. Uh, nah, it would be too much. Uh, cause here's the thing, they if they try to remake the first game, cause like I said, Resident Evil One and Three are part of a storyline, where Resident Evil Three is the true sequel to One, and Resident Evil Two and Four are their own things. That's what I mean. Combine One and Three, and then just remake it and call it Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. You, you fucking moron. It's... Oh my god. You... <laughs> say that. You it's can't... Silent Hill. God damn it. You are brain dead, my god. What the fuck? I am. Why did you... No. <laughs> my brain was Oh, like... damn. Final Fantasy I is a lot... video games. Final Fantasy that is one. a lot darker than usual. Usually you'd see get magic by now, but no, apparently it's... Uh, it's, it's a much grittier take now. And why is it set in modern day? I wonder why Final Fantasy is set in modern day nowadays. <laughs> I wonder why. They should just combine fucking one and three. Fuck it. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking like Persona R and somehow jet JRPGs went into my mind. But they should just combine one and three and call it fucking... Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, you're gonna get fucking roasted in the comments, bro. I don't mind. Bring it, fuckers. I'm gonna read the map. I need to know where to go. Oh my God, you need to clip that. Oh, I am. I'm clipping that. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just called Silent Hill Zero. That's called Silent Hill Origins, and Origins <laughs> fucking sucks. So it changes a lot of the lore, apparently. Or call it Silent Hill Prehistory. No. No, because we did get an Origins game, and apparently that one sucks. Or just Silent Hill Plus. <laughs> this is the remake of one. What's that one meme that people are like always... <sighs> Nintendo consoles? People always like give it a like, really extended title sound. Nintendo Switch Plus Ultra... I don't know. Okay. I'll try to be less brain dead for the stream tonight. Where the hell do I go? Let's see. 207. I didn't look in that room yet. Oh, it's an apartment complex? Yeah, it's an apartment comp. That is weird. Um, if you look at the floor, there's a blotch right there. And I'm right in front of 207. Yeah, it's probably hobo piss. Wait a minute. I think the door's just behind me. I'm dumb. Yep, there it is. Yeah, that Final Fantasy thing, I swear to God, sh uh, comments was not a bit. Uh, my mind was like thinking JRPGs for some reason, and I just blurred it out Final Fantasy. Okay. I wonder when, I wonder when I'm getting a gun. I'm probably not going to get a gun yet. I hate loading screens. Remember those? Oh, a flashlight. Here it is. Hello. I got a flashlight. Oh! What oh, are you? What the fuck is that? Like two lights? It's like a reverse view. Well, if Silent Hill is meant to change you, why does it try to kill you? Because it's meant to teach you a lesson. Understandable, but... And the monsters are representations of your, of your mind. Like, for example... Then again, I guess Infinity Train is literally the same thing, just without the brutal vibe brutal horror of it not only that it's you want to know why all the character all the monsters look so feminine that's gonna be a spoiler for later but essentially it's like a lot of symbolism with james and remember silent hill not everyone sees the same thing 
Some people see what James James only sees what he sees because it's exclusive, exclusive to him, while some people see other shit. Oh, you so, know what would be what? a you know would be a really cool idea for immersiveness in the, the remake. Oh, what? You see the map in real time rather than going to a menu. It's like you go first person and you bring up the map. And. <laughs> but imagine how terrifying that would be looking at the map in real time. It just it forming. Yeah, like, like, like there's an animation of taking out the map. It goes first person. And then, yeah. I mean, they call it Silent Hill where no one can hear you scream. Makes sense. I'll like, probably. The original slogan in the ads. No, that's uh, that's Alien. Oh. Did you know that the first town in Pokemon Gold and Silver, the beta name for it was Silent Hills? Wait a minute. Um, That texture looks weird. I think you could break that. Nope. Nope. But, um... Our uh, video game instincts have failed us. Is this supposed to be a door... Or am I tripping? Also, I saw some items somewhere. I just need to remember where I found. <laughs> need to remember why I need to find them. Anyway, so I'll yeah, the beta name for the town, of, for uh, the first town in a uh, Poke Pokemon Gold Silver and Crystal was supposed to be called Silent Hills, and Ooh. they changed it because this game just came out. Oh yeah, like it came out like a few months later or something, or came out like a few. And like, they didn't want the game being associated. They didn't change it because of copyright. They didn't want the game being associated with a horror game. Makes sense. When you know the last game had horror game elements in it. Just saying, uh, Lavender Town. What were you thinking? I like how Lavender Town, basically just, there's running on the clock. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. There we go. I like how Lavender Town just made so many creepy pastas. The whole thing with Lavender Town syndrome itself was a creepy pasta. There are scratches on the floor and walls. Looks like this thing was heavy drugs dragged here. Hmm. Someone must have made it a Jill sandwich. Oh yeah, I forgot. This game has really the clock has stopped at six fourteen and fifteen seconds. The faceplate is locked closed. It is locked. Can't touch the needles of the clock acting? like this. Not uh it does have voice acting, just not like certain stuff. Uh no, no. Um, dude, dude, fully voice games have spoiled us. Yeah, pretty much. Power switch, adjust oh. volume. Oh oh that's cool. Power on. I'm gonna have to keep that bitch on because I don't know when there's gonna be an enemy. I oh dude, I can't imagine some sadist playing this game without the radio. What does the radio do? Uh, it alerts you where enemies are at. Oh. Or like when there's like an enemy nearby. There's probably a speedrun challenge for that. Speedrun challenge for everything. <sighs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, so there's a way into the other room. I just need to figure out how to get in there. I want to do a Gen 3 Apocalock at some point for Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, I could probably join you if you stream it. Uh, you know what that is, right? A uh, what, a uh, Nuzlocke? It's a Nuzlocke where you're stuck with using certain types of Pokemon the entire game because an apocalypse happened. Uh... You basically roll a die and whatever it lands on is your apocalypse. Neat. Last time I tried it, I got a really shitty outcome. <laughs> There's two. Dragon open. and bug. Ooh. Yep. There's a door. Yep. There's supposed to be a door here too. Great. Great. Fun. Very fucking fun. Side. Though. I wonder how long this game is, because I know I feel like if you know what you're doing, this game's pretty short. I've seen someone take like four hours to beat this game. Then again, those are like those crackheads that manage to beat the game in a single day, which. <sighs> I did that with Fable 2 once. I literally beat the thing in an afternoon. I still wonder how those people that get early review copies beat the game so fast. Like Someone managed to post a Persona 5 playthrough full game the day it got released, and I'm like, how the fuck? Not even with, like, review codes do you beat the game that fast. Wait, what? That, that probably got taken off YouTube. You weren't allowed to do that. 
Yeah, but some idiot probably did it. That's probably why I said it was like, do not stream past this date. Like, it was literally in the game. It said, please do not record and stream past this date. Yeah, an update recently took that out. There's a key on the ground on the other side of the bars. I stretch my arm, I could just might be able to reach it. Let me pick it up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> also, I have one thing to commemorate this little collab of ours. <laughs> Wanna know what it is? Oh, what? you bitch! Mm. Ow! This. <laughs> hey, wait! Damn it. That? You heard it? <laughs> what was it? Uh, me opening a Sprite. Or a bottle of Coke. Oh, you're already being like, you bitch! <laughs> yeah, I don't know why some sounds won't get picked up through Discord. Yet yeah, every fucking fan in this room will get picked up by Discord. Yeah. I'm probably not going to use the handgun for a hot minute, because, um, let me just say this. Silent Hill 2 is scary, yes, but the game is also kind of easy, from what I've heard. Like, so easy, so uh, it's like, apparently, like, super easy because of the fact that it's really common to get ammo. Not only that, meleeing is actually a viable option. It takes a while, but it is viable. So Nintendo's probably having a direct next month. They literally said not to expect anything about a Switch 2 release. Which is expected. It's like, I wasn't really expecting it. Because I'm assuming if they're going to do it direct on the Switch 2, they'll be like, something amazing is coming. Tune into this date, yada yada, for a special Nintendo Direct. Yeah, they probably just want to like, um, um, how do I say this? Um, they want to manage expectations. And I'll say it again, what they need to do for the Switch 2 so robots don't go buy them up is look in your database for people that have registered the Switches and send them emails and give them first dibs. And what I mean by that is, look at how many hours of games they played, because scalpers will haven't played anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, those people that played more get, you know, get, get access, like, hey, you're, you are you have an offer, like, like let's say you have your Gmail connected, and it's like, oh, we're offering like, hey, you... Like you get first dibs in a Nintendo Switch Pro. Yeah. Let's like, see. I'd rather do, instead of, uh... Because you can't just release a console now without fucking robots gobbling it up. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's annoying. But what can you do? I think <laughs> I need I need something to slam it down. This is a normal washing machine here. I think I've interest. But you said garbage is stuck in there? It, yeah, there's... The main character's right there, though. To stuff it down? Here's the thing, though. It's probably, like, jammed with something. What can I use? Because um, Silent Hill has this, like, really weird adventure game thing where it's, like, it doesn't automatically use the um, what you need. So... Oh, you have to physically click it from the inventory. <laughs> yeah, and it fucking sucks, but what can you do? I'm assuming this guy had marital issues. Oh, oh uh, yeah, he... Uh, something like that. Yeah, his wife died three years earlier. And he promised her a trip that he would, she, that he would go to Silent Hill. Uh, look, how that, oh, look how that went down. So Silent Hill is supposed to be this like beautiful town. Oh, what was that some kind of noise north of here? So I'm assuming Silent Hill is supposed to be this beautiful like Concord esque town. Um, it's not. No, it's 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 a different place. Like I said, Silent Hill is different for everybody. It's not the same. So like some people see it as a paradise, some see it people as a hellhole. It's never the same thing. So, yeah, it just depends My entirely. My question is, what is that? What lessons that girl from the remake supposed to learn? <laughs> well, she is a kid, and there's a lot of fan theories that suggest she might not be real. But I don't know about that. Lock is broken. I remember seeing some ammo somewhere. I think it was ammo. I think. Hmm. I want to end this recording once we find a re uh, good, um, a good 
event point where like something big happens. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, so aren't we supposed to do Persona tonight? Yeah, I'm just want I want to try to find a good event place to end this. Let's see. Here we go. I got handgun bullets. Yeah, because we are gonna do Persona tonight. We just need to. I just want to like do some stuff here real quick. You know, preparing for the remake of Silent Hill, the Silent Hill 2 remake. There's yeah. a newspaper on the ground, but there's nothing interesting written in it. God, this game looks so good for 2002. Because I remember with every entry, all the games looked really good, like, per entry. Like, we gotta blow up PlayStation graphics cards. How do we do it? Yeah, funny thing is, is that Silent Hill, the Silent Hill 2 remake does look good. But I've seen people bitching about it, and it's like, what? The game looks great. What do you mean? But apparently it's because it's done by Bloober Team, a.k.a. the Layers of Fear guys, which does have me kind of worried because Layers of Fear isn't all that good. It's also by, you know, Konami and uh, Konami. Yeah, and you the know, thing is, Konami. you know, the bad will with Konami is still around. And they're, and you know, the new, the new management is trying to, you know, bring back some of that goodwill, which is gonna, that's gonna take a lot of effort. Luckily, the, they made a new Contra, so there's, like, they're starting with the basics, like, they're starting with some of their really old IPs, like, for example, Contra, um, Contra was, a uh, got a new, got a new sequel called Operation Galuga, and it's literally just old school Contra. I wish they'd take, uh, Castlevania and let the Capcom guys who did, uh, let the Capcom people that did fucking... DMC? It'll come to me. Itsuno? DMC be like... No, no, it's, that's not how it works, because, um, how do I say this? There's something here. No, Capcom has to like an equivalent game to like fucking Castlevania. I don't remember what it is now. No, here's the thing. I feel like they're trying to game back Chester Castlevania because right now they're doing the Netflix series, which is you know, um, actually pretty good. Like the Castlevania Netflix series. There are di there are diehards for for um. Um, Igarashi, I think, like some Igarashi fanboys that like get pissed at it because it doesn't follow Symphony of the Night to a T. But what can Igarashi. you do? He's the guy that basically put Castlevania on the map, or at least gave it more clout, aka made it what it is today, aka Symphony of the Night. But can you imagine if they made like a uh, Castlevania game? If they had the Resident Evil 2 guys or the Resident Evil remake guys do a Castlevania game? No, no, no. No, it would not fit at all. What do you mean fit? It would look amazing. Oh, look, hello, you. Hello, you. Hey, stuff on Pyramid Head. Uh, hi. How you doing? I don't like First you. Ran into. I don't like you. You're glowing red. I don't like that. Uh, did I ever tell you to pray to our Lord and save your Pyramid Head price? I don't like I don't like you doing that. I don't like you doing that. You're scaring me. Oh. Hello. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Is that you, I assume? No. I think it's meant to be James, I think. It doesn't look like James, kind of. I assume. It looks like it looks like Leon from Resident Evil Four. Room two hundred two. Oh, I can go there now. I need to go to room two hundred two, which is where. Oh, all the way down there, down the hall. Cool. I wonder how they're gonna do, um, the remake in terms of like some of the scares. Because of the fact that most old school horror games are allowed on fixed camera and going to a third person over the shoulder thing is going to mess with the scares. I wonder how they're going to pull it off. Because here's the thing with Blooper Team as well. 
Bloober team is not subtle with their horror. They never were. So was was Silent Hill one originally a PS one game? Yeah, Silent Hill one was PS one. Silent Hill two through four were PS two games. Homecoming and and um, the I think the most recent one after that was PS three three sixty. And it's the PS two remake of the first one. It's a PS no, this is just a PS it's a PS two sequel. It's literally called oh. Silent Hill two. Dude, you it's called Silent Hill two. How did you Oh, you're playing Silent Hill 2. Yes. I thought this was the first one. My bad. No, the first one was PS1. I'm playing Silent Hill 2, not Silent Hill 1. I would have I kept saying it was Silent Hill 2. Oh, so this is the uh, one that's going to get remade. Yeah. Which and like I said, the reason they're doing it is because 2 has its own story. The game wants me to stick my hand in there, does it? Yep. Fuck it, we ball. So dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. Fuck it, we ball. But is it a glory hole? Who knows? Maybe it is. Oh, you can. I'll be right back. <gasps> ah, something touched it. Got the clock key. Nice. <sighs> uh, game, why do you have those noise coming out of you? Okay, now I got the clock key. Now time to go all the way back. The scars in the past are removed a nail that stops time. I'm back. Uh, so I found the key. Now here's the hard part. The puzzle. Which means I need to... He's the dead. question is, do any of us have the reigning brain cells to figure this puzzle out? Yeah, and here's the thing with Silent Hill 2's puzzles. Um, they're very out of the box. You gotta look for all the clues first for doing anything. Because they're very out of the box. You gotta think outside the box most of the time. Now, did you go through the hospital yet in the beginning? Or is that something to add for the remake? Uh, that's, that's, just what the, that's just the current like gameplay trailer. Three needles stand at three different heights. The fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. The fuck does that mean? Like the both hands both on the three screen, let's not gonna let you do that. Oh wait a minute. I'm dumb. I am dumb. Hold on. Let's see if this counts. Cause it said three fifth not three but fifteen. Let's see. No. Love you too, Ma. Henry Mildred Scott. What's this? A really odd ad for HMS. Henry Mildred Scott. Uh oh, I think I get it. What is it? There's a little hand that. If you look at the arrows, it's like a little hand, a big hand, and a little hand again. So try putting the little hand to the right, probably on like the seven, and then the big hand diagonally. Now read the other clue again. That's on the clock. That's no. All right. See how it is. Three needles stand of three different heights. That is all the solutions. Put it fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three but fifteen. And then I think the Wait needles were showing where the hands on the clock were supposed to be. 
Wait a minute. Hold on. Does that mean we need to guess Scott's location? Scott rests not on 3, but 15. Three needles stand at three different heights, the fat, the tall, and the thin, from slow to fast, and you on the right. Scott rests not on three, but 15. What the heck does that mean? I found... Silent Hill puzzles, um, the devs wanted to make you think outside the box. Wait a second, Henry... I'm leaving the big hand on 15, which would be the three. And then try putting the little hand on noon. I think there's a third hand I'm missing. Because remember, look, look, see, there's three of them. One for Mildred and one for Scott. Oh, yeah, there is. That could actually be the case. Henry and Scott. Didn't we get a key to go back to a room? Did we use that? Yeah, I don't have any other keys. Not only that, all the other rooms are locked, so... We are proving our intelligence the internet. Scars from the past or remove the nail that stops time. That removes the nail. What the heck does that mean? Wait, did, is there a way to remove the nail that's in the center of the hands, maybe? Maybe. I might be thinking, like, completely weirdly, but it's Silent Hill. Yeah, Silent Hill has really weird puzzles. Oh. Uh, cause, yeah, they're very, you gotta think outside the box for most of them. Unless we need to find a nail, and that's what goes into the clock. Mild Henry Mildred Scott. Wait. Try setting the little hand to where Henry is, and then the big hand to where Mildred is. Hold on. Looks like that might do something. Hold on a second. Oh, these, these assholes, these guys are assholes. I figured it out. I figured it out. What hours, minutes, seconds. Henry is hours, Mildred is minutes, Scott is seconds. So there is a third hand we need to find that. <laughs> so, yeah, because look, it was, because, look. Oh, yeah, look, you're right. Look at it. The little, the little hand is Henry, a.k.a. hours. The big hand is minutes, a.k.a. Mildred. And Scott is seconds. So, hmm. That would just mean you have to set the other hands. Like Most clocks have no hand for seconds. Hmm. Look at it again. Take a picture of it. Think this? Maybe we might have to figure out that they're hours, minutes, and seconds. The problem is, is that. It doesn't say, it doesn't give you a clear, a clear, um, answer. Like, it won't, like, make a sound or anything. It'll just, like, if you did it, it will move. But if you didn't do it, it will not move. Okay. May or maybe it does have a sound on. We just didn't do it right. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep, there was a sound. I was right, I told you. So there was a sound. To put their things there, like it was on the clock. The scar, okay, let's see, will it work now? Yeah, we were overthinking it. <laughs> it was well, literally I just... It out, you weren't listening. <laughs> I'm like, what the... Let's see... What the heck's in here? Health drink is here. 
here's a save. Wait, you're only an hour in? Yeah. I've been mostly exploring the town. This game has such an atmosphere, man. Okay. I'm behind the bars now. Which worries me, because I saw that. Yeah, meaning pyramid heads nearby. Doesn't pyramid have the mascot of this one? Yeah, has the mask on. Do I need to go up? There's the third floor. One heck of a dungeon. <laughs> That's locked. That's locked. Oh, this one's open. Is the game auto marking dead ends, or is that just something you can automatically see? Oh! That's what I was talking about. That scene. <laughs> nope, that was not what that was. Turn off your flashlight, you idiot! Oh boy. Murder that thing. I don't think you can. Imagine how terrifying Pyramid Head's gonna look in the remake. No clue, but I'm hoping it does look scary. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Pyramid supposed to represent a dick. I think. Oh, sweet, a magazine. I like how you just shoot it a few times and it leaves. It's like, I'm not dealing with this shit. It's like, oh, he has a gun? Okay, never mind. He got that. He got a gun. Never mind. Like, I'm too busy for this. I'm gonna go pyramid head somewhere else. Well, that was the event I was talking. That was the event I was waiting for. So, um, got the key. Question is, did I keep the ammo or did. Just pyramid head murdering another monster in front of you. Okay, well, that was the event I was waiting for. Can I interact with this thing? Nope, I cannot. Oh, shit. Ugh. Okay, now I'm getting those chills. Ugh. I don't like that. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to end the video off here. Uh, well. All right, got. <laughs> He's like, you know what I just saw. Damn it, player. If you guys like the video, um, give the video a like if you think it was deserving it enough. Subscribe if you think I'm worthy of your time. And uh, yeah, catch the, live, catch the live stream, which is probably going to be later on. Probably yesterday if I'm going to be posting the video tomorrow. So if you guys like the video, like, sub, and subscribe. And well, go check out also JP as well because he joined mid, mid recording. And. Uh, Stop, I've been playing Yoxus 7. So yeah, see you guys. Thank you.